Allegations that phone hacking practices uh, may go much wider than just the news of the world can bring this scandal to another level. I'm joined now by Russian tycoon Alexander Lebedev, who controls uh, the independent and London Evening Standard newspapers in Britain. Alexander, are you sure, are you 100% sure that those phone hacking practices will not employ the tenure of your newspapers? I have no doubt. We, we have never been using it. First of all, there's no culture of doing that. And secondly, I don't think um, our standard of, uh, of uh, rule of law has gone that low. But do you think that the scandal can become much wider in Britain? I wonder if there's still any space. It has come to the top already. Uh, if, if you're referring to actually the um, permission to acquire the controlling stake in, uh, in Sky, it might. I think it's not exhausted yet. Do you think that this scandal may have spread beyond just News Corp titles, beyond those newspapers that do put murder claims? Not that I've heard of any, any suspicion or any evidence. Uh, I, I might draw your attention to the fact that were the journalists in News of the World really going after the so-called powerful, shining light in dark corners, the way Rupert Murdoch put it in one of his speeches last year, then maybe the uh, debate, public debate and the political debate, would be different. But since they interfere into private lives and, and there is no justification whatever in as far as actually fighting corruption, for example, as far as the hacking scandal is concerned. Do you expect that other newspapers may be shut down or put up on sale? No, I don't think so. At all. Um, I think so that this, is, this is a kind of a practice which is, which is uh, prevailing in one particular group. But Rupert Murdoch is known for his um, shocking, unexpected moves. If he puts any of his UK titles on sale, um, would you be interested in buying it? <laughs> no. I think... Uh, uh, we are in a very interesting process of, we've just given birth to another newspaper, which is I. We've moved it to the weekend. Uh, we are really struggling to become more efficient in online. So we get plenty of job to do. Uh, and also, I, I, I'm mainly interested in, in investigative journalism, which is a kind of educational journalism, not in scandals or, or no um, passion type of interference into private lives, rather than actually controlling the, the all-powerful rich bureaucracy, for example. But should the UK allow Murdoch to buy the Romanian stake in Biscay B that he doesn't yet own? Mm, I don't see what is the public gain um, from that. Uh, be it in the financial sector or in the media, when an empire becomes too big, I think it becomes uh, not an ally of the public in general. How, how do you think Rupert Murdoch uh, is handling this crisis? Quite cleverly. I think he's a kind of a character which definitely is he's very talented. Whether his actual reach for going bigger uh, serves him uh, good, I'm not sure, frankly. If, if you ask me, if I would do, if I were uh, a regulator, I, and again, I'm intentionally uh, bringing up the parallel between the financial world and the media world. I mean... The public needs something which is under control. It shouldn't allow a bank or, or a, 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 a media title to become so influential that it marries actually the rich and the powerful, which is supposed to be controlling them. But do you think Murdoch has too much power over UK politicians? This is not my opinion. This is UK opinion. So I'm just uh, actually tracing it. So this is the middle of the debate now. So um, should his powers be, should they be reduced or limited? Mm, well, I stress again, I don't see what is the public mm, good in as far as allowing a big media empire to control fully the beast KB, for example. Sh should this media empire be split up? Mm, I haven't seen the debate coming to this point, but if you're referring, for example, to the American anti-monopoly regulation in the recent, say, few decades, like Bell, for example, in telecommunications, and there's quite a few other, then in the financial sector, I definitely would recommend that to be done. Whether I recommend in the media, I would rather have 20 or 15 Rupert Murdochs competing in the media scene of Britain or United States or internationally, rather than to, to the empire Rupert Murdoch being reduced to zero.